Hi, so I'm not much of a mobile gamer, so I play Switch games instead. What I really like to play is Pokemon Go. I feel like mobile games are very limited of what you could do because you gotta pay real life money for in-game currency. But with Pokemon Go, you could pay real money for Pokecoins, or you could grind your way to getting more Pokecoins. Like, you could pay real money, or you could battle a lot of gems, thus giving you free Pokecoins. Although, I will say it does depend where you live. If you live in a place with not that many people like I do, you may struggle with it. That's why I use a method that I like to call cheating the system. You simply make a second account that you use to knock out your own Pokemon that belongs to your main account. I wouldn't recommend this. Doing this might get you banned, but I have seen a lot of Pokemon Go YouTubers create new accounts for the sake of doing challenges, so I don't know. But you can use Pokecoins to buy special items to help catch Pokemon or gain more XP or even buy clothes for your avatar. But you don't have to. The game is totally free to play. You could have fun without using these special things. Just like Fortnite, it's free to play. Or you could use real money to buy V-Bucks, so you could use V-Bucks to buy skins. But Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is the worst free-to-play mobile game I've ever seen. Here's why. Calling this a free-to-play game is kind of a stretch, because if you want to do anything in this game, you need something called leaf tickets. These things are the bane of my existence, because besides bells, you got leaf tickets. And as you play the game, you start to realize how important leaf tickets are. Acquiring leaf tickets are very tricky if you're not willing to put out the money. You can complete daily goals or get some tickets by logging in every day. But this isn't always a guarantee, though. When you first start playing, they give you a lot of leaf tickets for doing various tasks. Later down the line though is when things start to get grindy because they give you leaf tickets less and less as you play the game. But now you might be wondering, PJ, why are you wearing such a cool skeleton costume? Because I wanted my character to look like me. Another thing you might be wondering is how much are leaf tickets? Well, the highest amount will cost you $80 for 2500 and that might seem like a good deal at first until you start to notice almost everything costs leaf tickets. If they don't cost bells, they cost leaf tickets. Cause trust me, 2500 isn't much, especially when you see how expensive even clothing items are. And if you don't spend those tickets, everything moves at a snail's pace. Like when you craft items, you have to wait a certain amount of time for them to get done. Some might take two minutes, others might take two hours. And you have to use those leaf tickets if you want to speed up the time. And you might be thinking, well that's not so bad. A few leaf tickets to get some crafting items done? If only it was that simple. It costs 15 tickets to finish up a 2 hour item. Depending how long it takes, it will cost you a fortune. And some items can take up to 9 or 11 hours. And if you're not waiting for items to be crafted, you're waiting for animals to ask you for stuff. Yes, even your animals has a timer on them. They'll have a specific request every two or three hours. If you don't want to wait, you can use a card to, so they can ask you for additional requests. And how do you get one of these? I don't know, probably by using leaf tickets to buy more? It always comes back to leaf tickets. And if you don't want to wait two hours for fruit on trees to grow, you use fertilizer. How do you get more fertilizer? By using your goddamn leaf ticket. And you can play this Happy Home Academy mini game where you can earn medals and rewards and it's free to play. No, no wait, you have three vouchers you can use. But once you use them, you won't get them back until 22 hours. I mean, you could pay 30 leaf tickets to play right now. So as you can see, 2500 won't even last you long. This game is the biggest cash grab if I've ever seen one. Also, I prefer to earn in-game currency through hard work rather than buying my way into getting everything I want. I mean, heck, don't have the required materials to craft a specific item? You can just use leaf tickets instead. Not to mention, depending how many materials you're short on depends on how many leaf tickets you gotta spend. 
This game isn't meant to be played for a long time in one sitting. It's the kind of game you play for three minutes, then pick it back up again in a few hours. This game is dependent on you spending money so you can keep playing. That's why everything is locked behind a timer. You pay to keep things moving. So they give you daily rewards to entice you to keep playing, and they sometimes give you free leave tickets so you can start to think to yourself, man, I could sure use some more leave tickets. And it sucks. Everything sucks. Because all I want to do is craft a goddamn blue cabinet because you can only get three workstations to craft things on and some items take 13 hours to finish. I started crafting this last night. And that's another thing. You only get one free workstation and the other two cost 80 leaf tickets each. I want my damn blue cabinet. And I know, PJ, it's a cell phone game. Of course it's microtransaction heavy. Well, Pokemon Go is a cell phone game. It has microtransactions, but the differences are when you purchase something off of Pokemon Go, rather it's a useful item or clothing for your avatar, you never feel like you have to buy those things. It's because you want to. You wanted to buy that lucky egg. You wanted to buy that lore module, but you never felt like you had to. With Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, though, you have to buy leaf tickets for progression. Cause how else are you gonna get that blue cabinet? But are leaf tickets necessary for progression? Of course not. If you don't mind waiting 13 goddamn all- Nobody's watching this video. But if there is a Pocket Camp player seeing this, I would have to ask you, how do you find this game enjoyable? Why do we have to pay 30 leaf tickets to play a 5 second mini game? Why do we have to pay leaf tickets to make progression faster? And another thing is that there is this event going on right now where you plant these seeds and before you harvest them, you have to catch these bugs. But not all will be caught successfully, a few might be a failure. So if you want a guarantee to catch all of them, you better be ready to pay 10 tickets. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I just realized it's not 10 tickets to guarantee a catch for all of them. It's 10 tickets for each bug. It, it doesn't make any sense because why would you pay all of those tickets when some of them would be a successful catch anyway? This, this game is dumb. And when you use Gulliver's boat to travel to islands to gain rewards, you have to wait five hours and you take one reward from that visit. If you want to leave with the other rewards, you have to pay 12 tickets. If not, you have to load up the boat with more items, then wait another five hours, and it's a huge headache of grinding for items to use for Gulliver's boat, and you find yourself in a never-ending loop, and it sucks! So as all of that said, I need to ask something else. What's the point of all this? Because this game is all about give and take. You sacrifice items for other items. For example, you are sometimes given these maps. It's a map where you could earn rewards. It could be for bells, leave tickets, or other useful items. But there's a catch. By rolling the dice, you need to use a certain number of a certain item. Like you could use 15 friend powder for 50,000 bells. Or you could use 3 friend powder to get 5,000 bells. Keep in mind, it would be 3 or 15 friend powder per roll. It's a gamble. You could even use 30,000 bells per roll to try and get 10 leaf tickets. The greater cost, the greater reward. Why I bring this up? Because it's an endless loop of grinding for items only so you could get other items. This game really does know how to keep you playing. If you'd ask me if this is a good game, I might say yes, because if you take away all the leaf tickets and the grind, Finding the timers. God, there's so many timers. I say yes, but as I said earlier in this video, you're not able to play the game whenever you want. You have to craft things, wait out the timers, go on a walk, watch TV, then come back to it later. Worst mobile game ever. That's what I would say, but guess what? They're coming out with a paid version of the app, because this must mean there'll be no timers. One can only hope. Hopefully it'll be a lot less grindy too, but they're shutting down on the 28th. That's the day before my birthday. But as bad and grindy this game was, people still love it. You'll find videos of people playing it and saying how great it is. I'm probably playing it wrong. I don't know. It wouldn't be so bad if everything didn't cost leaf tickets. Because this skeleton costume wasn't cheap. Earning enough leave tickets to finally customize my campsite was time consuming. 
Doing anything in this game is time consuming if you're a free to play player. That's all I wanted to say. So subscribe and like the video. They say it helps. But I don't know about that. But thanks for watching. You can join my Patreon for a dollar and you'll get to see other videos I don't upload to YouTube. But I know no one cares about my exclusive videos. Okay, bye.